Hey, what's up Rico gang? So check this out. You're either a reseller or you wanna be a reseller, right? But there's one thing. You don't know how sneakers are supposed to be priced and you might not even know the sneaker market, period. Therefore, you don't know how to sell them. One of the most common questions I get is like, bro, how much? How do I know how much I should sell a pair of sneakers for? All right, so I'm explaining it to you and I'm actually gonna go to the store and show you my method. So make sure you watch to the end. All right, so with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so the goal is to make money and not only make money, but not have to hold sneakers forever, right? So in order to do that, you first must understand what sneakers to buy because you need to know what's selling and what's not so that you're not holding on to stuff too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that down for you as well. From my experience, Nikes, most Adidas, and pretty much all Jordans, except Team Jordans, of course, sell and can sell pretty quick in the secondary market. Now, first, let's talk about Nike. Nike's one of those companies that's the leader in a bunch of different categories, right? And what I mean by that is Nike's one of the top golf brands. It's probably the top running brand, probably the top basketball brand. So there's a wider variety of people that are buying Nike shoes. That's why Nikes move all day. And so for me, Nike is definitely the brand you should look at if you're a beginner as well, because now you're opened up to way more different types of shoes that you can sell and make profit on. On top of that, if you have a Nike outlet local, then you know it can get real critical as far as the discounts and everything that comes along with that. The discounts and the additional 40% off and everything that you enjoy at the Nike outlet. So Nikes definitely are the first thing that I'm gonna recommend you look for as a beginner. All right, so now let's talk about Adidas for a little bit. Here's the thing with Adidas. You can find profitable Adidas, no doubt. However, the frequency in which you see profitable pairs unlike Nike is a little bit lower. However, stick to this video in the end and I'll show you how to check for every single shoe because once again, you can definitely find some profit in Adidas. You just have to know how to look. So go ahead, follow me to the end and I promise you, I promise you I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, let's talk about Jordans. Now, obviously Jordans dominate the secondary market. Now I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. You can get lucky and find some Jordans, especially profitable Jordans at department stores. Mostly, most Jordans are hype, right? And so they sell out within minutes and anything that sell out within minutes is obviously going to give you some profit, whether it's narrow margins or big margins. Jordans mostly give you profit. However, not all Jordans, though. Try to stick with Jordan retros, although some six rings and team Jordans have shown to have profit. See, here's the thing that a lot of people don't talk about. Most Jordan ones, not all, but most Jordan ones are safer than stocks in the context of if you buy it and then hold it over the course of a year, then the value is just going to increase. Now, of course, this is specific to the colorway of the Jordan 1 and how hype it is and everything like that. But for the most part, like I said, most high OG ones are gonna increase in value by the time that the first year is over. So pretty much those are the kinds of sneakers that I want you to target, that I want you to look for and say, okay, these are the ones I'm looking for on my list. And hopefully that gives my people out there that's brand new to the sneaker game, hopefully that gives y'all a little guidance. Now let's talk about how to find the resale price, the true value of a sneaker. All right, so there's a couple different layers to this actually. You got brand new shoes that are in the box. Those are obviously the king, right? Those are the most valuable. Then you got brand Brand new sneakers without the box those are next on the totem pole followed by used with the box and then so on and so forth now since we're talking used sneakers let's just unpack that for a little bit right because the value of a used sneaker is always going to be 100 dependent on the condition right most shoes are rated on a zero to ten scale and me personally i try not to even mess with anything under a seven however however that's another video that i will link with used shoes, doesn't matter if it's a nine and a half out of 10 condition though, I wanna drive this home. If it's used, then it doesn't matter how lightly used, it cannot be listed at dead stock price, which is which basically means listed at the price that you would list it if it was brand new. Used sneakers are always gonna just hold less value, similar to a brand new car. You drive it, a car can be worth $40,000 on the lot, but as soon as you drive it off, even if you just put one mile on the car, that car instantly just starts losing value as you drive it off. So that's kind of how it is with sneakers. Once someone puts it on their feet, laces it up and walks out the house in them pretty much, they're no longer dead stock. And now the value dips on them a little bit. Now, if you're one of those people like, bro, I can't tell if the shoe is used or not. Here's some ways you can tell. First, look at obvious signs of wear on the shoe, right? You got stains, creases, stuff like that. However, it doesn't matter how good a person is at keeping their shoe clean, they cannot keep the bottom of a shoe clean. And so, and so that's where I always check. However, keep in mind, people are getting slick and I've actually seen people hit 
hitting the bottoms with the lint rollers now just to try to get away with some fake dead stock however just to show y'all this foolproof method though however i just want to put your brain in the mindset of looking for a brand new shoe in the box right and once again don't worry i'm gonna show y'all how to do it without the box follow along with me watch to the end here's the sauce on how to find the value of a shoe so let's say you find a shoe in the store right you're like man i think i can make some profit on this shoe most Jordans, most Nikes, and even Adidas, when you look inside on the shoe tag, you're gonna see a style code, all right? You're gonna put that style code in the StockX. Now, here's what I want you to pay attention to on StockX because you can look at that first number and say, oh, okay, that's the value of the shoe. So what I want you to do is go over to the red sell button, right? And what that's gonna do is just basically, you're gonna simulate as if you already have the shoe and you're getting ready to sell it. Then it's gonna ask you, hey, which one of these do you have? just to verify that you have the shoe. So you're gonna click whatever shoe you have in hand. Then at the very top, you're gonna see the, you're gonna see the size and then with the little edit pencil next to it, just go ahead and click that pencil. You're gonna see a full size run and the value of each size. Now, why is that important? In some cases, even though it's all the same shoe, smaller sizes are more valuable than bigger sizes and in some cases, vice versa. So it's important that you know not only the shoe you have, but what size you have. You might have a size that's profitable or you might have a size that's not profitable. Either way, I always check there first just to see the size and then what they're selling for every day. I also look down at the latest activity just to see just to see how often it's selling. That's gonna tell me how long I'm gonna hold these or not. StockX isn't the only place. After I check StockX, there's another marketplace that I personally sell on the most and that I personally think is the best and that's eBay. Because eBay allows you to filter by sold listings. There's no greater indicator of the value of something than what it's selling for every single day. So eBay is where I check. So I take that same style code, I plug it into eBay, and then I go filter by sold listings. Then I see how much it's selling for and how many have sold within the last week, just like I looked at on StockX. Now here's the thing with eBay that they just started doing that made eBay the place to go in my opinion. The fees for selling shoes are now non-existent. So now, so now you can really, really, really get your profit in if you're selling shoes on eBay. Now I wanna address this because a lot of people get anxiety when they hear eBay. They, they've heard all the horror stories about the scammers and all of that. Yes, the scammers are out there. However, use your best judgment. If someone offers you more than what your shoe is worth, then it's a scam, okay? So that's easy. Only sell to people. I cancel orders. I do all that stuff. I only sell to people who I can see have a legit background. So. Don't let the traditional reputation of eBay as far as with re sneaker reselling scare you away because they've done a lot to change that. And once again, I can attest that that platform is where I sell all my sneakers. All right, y'all ready to go? Y'all wanna get in the car with me? Let's bounce, bro. I wanna show y'all how to do this in live motion. All right, boom. So now I'm about to go out to Ross, go out to Marshalls, show y'all these same type of stores I be talking about. Now I'm gonna try to pay attention to something right Look, Man, look, Texas ain't no joke, bro. All right, Rico gang, we here at Ross right now, so I'm about to basically go in here, go in here step by step, show y'all real time how I would find a shoe, then price it. So let's go see what's in there. Oh man, so they didn't pretty much blitz Ross, but we're gonna still see if we can find something in here. Oh man, are these, are these Vans? No. What are those? Now these sort of piqued my interest. Check the tag in here. Check this number out on eBay and see what it do. All right, so as you see, finding the value of a sneaker can be very easy. It's just a matter of taking the time and research. I have a video where I break down sneaker reselling from point A to point B. If you're interested in and you wanna see more of that content, meet me over in that video. Love everybody out there. Let's get it.